Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this is your very first electric guitar and this is your very first electric guitar lesson. This is for complete beginners, whether you've played the acoustic before or not. This is an introduction. I'm going to show you uh, parts on the guitar. I'm going to explain the guitar a little bit. But first of all, I want to show you your first riff on the guitar, okay? And it's just a really easy version of TNT by ACDC. Even if you're not an ACDC fan, check it out, okay? It's a really cool riff. So, I'm going to show you how to play this E power chord, and it goes... It's really easy, because it's just one finger in the second fret, okay? So hopefully you know these are called frets, okay? So in the second fret, and I put my first finger on the fifth string. And the way we count the strings is from the thinnest to the thickest. So I'm going one, two, three, four, five, okay? And if I just pluck that, that's how it sounds, okay? So I'm gonna put my finger there, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play the bottom two strings, the thickest two strings. And there you go, you have your E power chord, and it sounds like a rock chord, okay? That's why they call them power chords. So their real name is a fifth chord, but we can worry about that later on. So that's our first chord, okay? That's E power chord. But now we want to know the A power chord, because we're going to go from E to A. Well, good news, because it's virtually the same as E, except on the next two strings. So now I'm taking my first finger again, and I'm placing it in the second fret, and this time I'm going to put it on the fourth string. So one, two, three, four, okay? And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just pluck or strum the fifth and the fourth string together. So there you go, if you hit the other strings, don't worry too much, okay? It's gonna sound cool. So that's your A power chord. Now, here's the riff. Pretty cool, right? So it's super easy. We're just going to do E, and then we're going to play the third fret on the bottom string, the thickest string, and then we're going to play A. Ready to do it with me nice and slow. Two, three, and one. So there you go, there's your first rock song, and it's called TNT by ACDC. If you want to learn the full version, you can click on the link below, and there's some other ACDC songs there. Also, if you're not quite ready for power chords yet, and you still want to play some cool riffs, you can check out my link below for 10 super easy guitar songs without chords, okay? So if you're not quite ready for chords, you can hit that link below, or I'll put a little link up here as well. You can click on this link and it'll take you straight to the video. So let's get to know the guitar a little bit and let's get to know the names of all the parts. So here we go, we have the body. So this section here is the body for obvious reasons, okay? And this long thing here, this is the neck. And at the end of the neck, you've guessed it, we've got the head. Sometimes you hear people calling it the headstock, okay? And on the headstock, we've got our tuners and connected to our tuners are our machine heads, okay? So, head, headstock, tuners for tuning, machine heads for what the string winds around, and we come down to the neck. Now, on the neck, we've got our frets, okay? That's these little metal boxes, and we always play, whenever we're gonna play, you know, on the guitar neck, we always play behind the frets. So you don't you never wanna play too far away from them, otherwise you can get a really nasty noise, but if you play nice and close behind the fret, it's always going to sound cool, all right? It's always going to sound good. So these are our frets, and sometimes, you know, I'm not sure if you can see there, but you've got dots on here as well, and they're just to help us out, okay, when we're playing. So three, the third dot I know is G on the bottom E string, the second dot is A, so we just use them to help us in music, okay? 
As we go further up the neck, back onto the body, we've got these things here, they're called pickups. And for the pickups, we have a selector. So to turn on individual pickups, and these pickups are just like to pick up the sound of the guitar. They're kind of like microphones, okay? And this switch here, sometimes they're in different places on different guitars. That's just a pickup selector, okay? So it's a pickup switch to turn the different pickups on, all right? And these control knobs here, um, these ones are for volume. The front ones are for volume, okay, for each separate pickup. And the rear ones are for tone, okay? So if you're not sure what tone is, so I'll turn the tone right down. And then I'll turn it right up. Okay, so you can hear there's a big difference. So that's kind of muffled, right? And then I'll turn it right up and there's no muffle. And the other one, it's just the volume. You can't really see what I'm doing there, I know. Okay, so that's just the volume there. And that's the tone. Okay, and the same for the other two, except when we're on a different different pickup, okay? So that we use the selector. All right, this little thing here is what we call the tailpiece, which is what you put the strings through to tighten them up here, and it kind of grips the strings through here. And in between that, this is what we call the bridge, okay? And that just sets the position of the strings. On some other guitars, like my Fender guitar, you can see sometimes it's a tremolo or a whammy, so it actually sits on springs behind. So that's all right too. Um, these things here, the SG is quite famous for these two cutaways, because you have to imagine the body was once round, but they cut into them, hence cutaway, which allows us to get to those higher frets, okay? So when you see these angled pieces, they're what we call cutaways, all right? And you can probably see this one's black, but you've got this edge pattern thing around here, and this is actually plastic, and this is what we call the scratch plate. Okay, on some guitars underneath that, that scratch plate will be the electrics hidden, hidden away, okay, because they're not cut into the back or anything like that. Well, you can see under there, there's a back plate under there for the, the volume knobs and the tone knobs. Okay, so that's what we call a scratch plate. They can come in different colors, sizes, and shapes. And also on the end of the neck, you always hear people talking about the nut. <laughs> And this is the nut here, and it's where the strings come off the fretboard, okay? The, the fretboard sits on the neck, okay? And where the, spring, the strings, rather, come over the nut and go into the machine heads, okay? So that's the nut there, and they get, they're made out of different materials. And on the fretboard, we can see these um, different colored things here where my dots sit, and that's, they're just what we call inlays. Last but not least, we've got our input here, and also don't forget, we've got the strap, okay? So that's a brief introduction to the electric guitar, guys. If you want to find more information on the guitar and some more lessons, check out the links below, and I've got tons and tons of riffs on my channel. Check them out. If you, you know, if you can't find the type of video you want, send me a message, you know? I might even do a lesson on it. So good luck on your new electric guitar journey, Please let me know how you're getting on and give me the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed as I do these lessons every single week, guys. Okay, enjoy. I'll see you again soon.